Islam. It is October the 4th, 2021. Um, a Spanish accent said homie at my door. And um, usually they come in lately and they put this um, plastic on the floor. Uh, some of them have on a red shirt. Like um, I see them uh, walking around with red shirts as I'm going back and forth um, to earn money at Burger King or driving a red car. I'm running to Arrington Bay. And I was uh, talking loud. Not now. Actually, I wasn't talking too loud this time. I actually, I was just talking within my room. But uh, the person that said, so I, I'm right here. And I heard um, homie. And these uh, Mexicans, and, or this look to be South American or Spanish speaking, El Salvador. Uh, like last, for instance, this morning, my side was, um, I kept feeling four sharp pains in my side and I was hearing Spanish speaking accents in the room. And, um, then, um, I tried to go to sleep. My dreams would be invaded and I kept seeing visuals of Burger King, like, um, Burger King literally. Okay. So, um, I, um, anyway, as I was talking, just regular talking, um, and like, and is there's, um, so a dog across the hall is barking. A lot of times that door is cracked open and someone keeps doing this. I'm not, not claiming that person because people come and go at American Sin State. So they do this. They'll keep doing that over and over again. And so as a Moorish American, um, if you feel in sharp pains at the same time, or for instance, um, like I said, a Spanish speaking accent was in my room, or like a, a mic and accent, um, you know, and I kept seeing this visual that looked like definitely from El Salvador. Um, it, and because I could tell you uh, pretty much not all the time I'm right, but definitely looked like she was from El Salvador because she looked similar, so similar to a coworker that it reminded me, um, a coworker named Dora, I'm not calling I'm not accusing her, that it reminded me of how I asked um, Dora, I was thinking how I asked her one day, uh, was she pregnant? Because she comes into work, she has a shirt tucked in, her black belt on, black pants. She usually wear, have the same stilo or same dress every time she comes to work, like me. I wear the same thing pretty much every time I go to work too. But then I started to notice her shirt was all um, outside her pants. And we're not supposed to do that anyway. <laughs> so I asked, you know, I just asked her, I said, Dora, are you pregnant? And because she, I mean, she don't could come in and she didn't respond. And I told her, I said, I don't mean to offend you. The reason why I asked is because your shirt is outside your pants. You're usually so nice and neat. And you, I mean, the shirt, okay, the shirt just, it looks so, it looks sloppy. Um, you know, so, you know, you know, I, I, I thought possibly if, if she was pregnant, uh, maybe that's why, because, um, uh, she left her shirt outside her pants pretty much, um, like all that day and maybe a day before, a, a, a times before, after, but lately I know she'd been taking her shirt back in. So, um, anyway, the, the unclean spirit that was attacking was definitely looked like, um, a, um, for someone from El Salvador. And uh, it was a female, and she said, he F-U-C-K you. And so what these spirits can do with um, military help that are unnaturalized is uh, uh, it's like they'll get a phone, um, put a phone in their hand, press a button, and get and put what they call an unclean spirit on you to attack you or send or or it could be a it looked like an average citizen. Um, that's working. So, um, average citizen that's doing an agricultural work, gardening, gardening, um, doing, um, construction work and they get a download, a signal to, uh, see the four sharp pain as you walk it by, or as they are working, they'll, they'll do it because they have a code. So they literally uh, get a download, uh, or from that code or that chip that they have okay so um uh, i i quiet down because they start talking again um those that's out they'll speak in spanish 
uh, that look like this. That look like possibly they are maybe working on the floor by putting um, plastic down. So I don't know what um, I don't know what the, what the deal is with that. But um, someone uh, one of them uh, said homie outside my door. It's not like they said homie in a conversation. It's like they deliberately stood outside my door and said homie. So when you amongst unclean spirits, they can get a download to do such things, uh, to uh, sit for sharp pays and then say that they pay. Okay. So you have for you have Mexicans. Mexicans that uh, can barely that are uh, uh, have generations that had came over here illegally and had to um, go through different um, hard times to stay in this country. Those from El Salvador, South America, Central America, and then once they get stable because they're not naturalized properly, they start saying that they paid for somebody. So a government start downloading saying um, they paid that they can be um, masters, they can pay for somebody. So, um, what I see now, okay, because when I, once again, in Monte Gray Bay and I run there in Tempe, we never, we never had anything to do with Mexicans or anyone that speaks Spanish, South American, Central America on a, a personal level. Um, all my life, I never um, dealt with them on a personal level. So, when you have uh, immigrants coming to this landmass, they can barely make it. Not all. Some of them, um, I guess they have money and whatever. They're able to get here easily. But a lot of them barely can make it over here legally. All right. So they have to go through different means to get here. And then once they get here, and they have the telepathic code. They start saying, they start using them. A government used them that is unnaturalized. Whereas the military, the police as terrorists. And then they start, talk, they start speaking how they paid to do certain things they paid to rape they paid to molest and they paid to send for sharp pains that's an issue but that's not that they're not the only ones you have african americans black negroes um also who get downloads or unclean and unnaturalist spirit now and i'm not saying not, i'm not saying all that behave the same way and i'm not saying all uh, that are hispanic or pale skin but I'm speaking about that. Speaking about the um, immigrants, it's because um, it's been in the news for a long time about them coming over here illegally, and now they are openly talking about sex trafficking. Uh, now the they they've been talking you know about sex trafficking, but now they act, they acting like it's such a huge issue. Sex trafficking. It's been an issue. Especially those that have the telepathic code and that can invade your dreams. And also, they can use the telepathic code to molest you while you are just going about your day-to-day -day life. They use them as terrorists. So if you have um, an unclean spirit that's uh, from South America, Central America, um, Mexico, El Salvador, um, they could be from India, wherever it may be from, and a government wants to use them to harass you, terrorize you. This is dealing with spirituality because it is spirit, spiritual, but it is um, also, uh, it manifests on a physical plane. A government that knows this, they could, they use it as a weapon. So it's, it, they use them as, they, it's, it's considered being used as a weapon, a weapon um, among, a weapon towards citizens. And then if they do it long enough, they can try to normalize it. I can't tell you how many times I've heard those that speak Spanish speak about how they paid and look my way or invade my mental space saying they paid. And never in my life I have ever had to deal with anyone that spoke Spanish on a personal level. In the South, when we see Mexicans, those that are El Salvador or what we didn't even know, sometimes we would just assume they were from Mexico, but they could have been from South America, Central America. Well, you know, we see them say, hi, how you doing? And move forward. Puerto Rico, whatever. But that's because we, I, you know, that's just, I mean, maybe, maybe they weren't. Uh, maybe it wasn't to this extent and also and we didn't know Islam we didn't know what we didn't know what we were among Cause, but once again I'm not saying all and so if you have um, acts of terrorism being planned and those that have the telepathic code they um, those that have the telepathic code 
knew and had and was preparing to allow um, certain um, unclean, unnatural spirits, humanoid robots, artificial intelligence over here. Okay, so now you, you hear a dog barking across the hall. Okay, we and um, I've already spoke about how animals they have given the animals telepathic codes. Um, well, it, and not only that, um, um, it's and that this is going to, I'm not going to be the only one talking about this cows, pigs, um, felines, cats, you know, birds, so forth. Cause, um, they have, uh, really went, um, they just, they just experimenting and, um, they feel like they, it's, they want whoever's doing these scientists want to make sure that they, they, they think it's time to evolve the planet. But what they are doing is going against natural law, natural the way natural uh, law uh, allows us as beings to evolve. So if you have a government who gave uh, for um, Mexico, Mexicans, South Americans, Central Americans, um, Indians, or other um, people that are not from this landmass. Um, um, uh, natural inhabitants of this landmass, the telepathic code, way before you started to give the citizens and you start allowing them to come over here and they were able to send sh for sharp pains, invade dreams, attack the children, so forth. They were controlling uh, technology. Then you that was all a plant that was all a plot. It's, I mean it's a plot. It's a you know it's like little by little, little by little. And then you start gradually letting the people, the citizens know about it over here. So, and once again, I'm not saying all the Hispanics or those that speak Spanish. I'm just giving a hypothetical thought and how um, these weapons of mass destructions are able to get away with acts of terrorism. And this is in connection to spirituality. And once again, someone... Um, as you saw, I'm not accusing those that I just, I took out my camera uh, to see the uh, Spanish out there, but um, I was uh, spiritually and mentally being attacked. People are still saying Burger King around this room. They still saying Burger King. I don't, I don't, I do not accuse Burger King, but they still say Burger King. And my dreams earlier was about um, some form of Burger King. So if you, uh, once again, if you are outside of natural law, I'm not accusing Burger King and you do not respect constitutional rights and you do not have you you will and you have the ability to connect with an unnatural military force. All right. Um, an unnatural military force police and they are able to invade dreams and cause sickness and illnesses. What will stop you?